GeekWire Launchpads is brought to you by Knoll. We believe in the power of design to inspire people to do their best work. All right, folks, John Cook from GeekWire. I'm here with Kaylee Mack and Barry Chris of Chef. We're at the new, amazing Chef headquarters in Pioneer Square in Seattle. Tell us why you moved in here and, and what this space means to you guys. Yeah, John, thank you so much. So we spent a lot of time looking for a space that not just for our employees, but for our entire community. There's so many people that have been part of this uh, success of Chef, both inside and outside the company. We just wanted a great place for them. Cool. Well, the first thing I'm struck by is the openness, the wood beams, the the metal the metal fixtures. You kept a real industrial look. Was that uh, intentional? I suppose so. Yeah, I, I love to use the word open, John, because we're an open source company at its core, and open is something we want people to feel right when they first come into the space. Cool. Well, let's just take a quick walk around and, and see some of the cool attributes of the new uh, Chef headquarters. So now we're out in front of one of the many conference rooms. I think you said 16 conference rooms throughout the, the new office space. And as you had mentioned, these are named after famous chefs. We just passed Tom Douglas, the, the famous chef here from Seattle. Now, who are we out in front of here now? Yeah, so uh, by the way, you'll see this is uh, Stoll for Ethan Stoll. Uh, Douglas is one of my favorites. Um, we have Childs. One thing you'll notice is we don't even refer to them as conference rooms. Every, there's no two that are alike. Something I wanted to make sure we didn't have is these oppressed conference rooms where you just sit in them all day and, and can't even tell what floor or what room you're in. So they all have a unique feel to them, different furniture. Um, also, a lot of them are very small that an individual might go in or maybe just two software developers that want to uh, work on a project together or maybe Maybe just you need to make some phone calls or get some alone time. We also have some wellness rooms that are a chance for you to just get some alone time if you need to you know, sort of get away from it all. Very cool. And then I also noticed these bikes hanging here. Obviously, you have some bike commuters even on a uh, nasty day such as today. We're dedicated Seattle bikers. Okay. You know, you got to get the Fremont count over the bridge. Make sure you get your daily count in. Um, but no matter what, we always have bikers come in the office. We have racks on both floors uh, for all of our dedicated cyclists in the middle of December coming in. So, you know, and then we have rooms for their wet gear storage too, so they can throw off their gear and still go to work and not feel like they're bombarded with wet, wet stuff and, and even showers and That's both nice. bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we can, you know, we clean themselves off. Barry goes to CrossFit in the morning and get himself ready to go. Well, what I love is we got we're going to have 75 mile an hour winds today, and we still got people cycling in. It's pretty hardcore. Very, so, yeah. so you know, just briefly for the for the layperson, Chef is IT automation software. A lot of people don't know what that means. What do you guys do at the end of the day? So, first of all, we automate software tasks. So, that might look like... Um, doing things for like game makers that host uh, games in the cloud. You know, our biggest uh, customer does, I think, 30 million users a day are playing their game. We provision all that infrastructure. We do things like provision a virtual server or a container or maybe 10,000 of them at the same time for companies like Facebook or GE or Citibank. Very cool. All right. Well, I think it's always good to get a good overview of what's going on inside here to, to make sure that all these people continue working. So now so. We are, it's quieter. We're in the, en I, I assume we're in the engineering area. This is the engineering area. And something you'll find is uh, one of the investments we made is in desks. And every one of these desks actually can raise up le uh, electrically to be a standing desk. And so we want to give people a lot of options. You'll also notice they have wheels. So uh, there goes one right now. <laughs> there goes one right now. So we can actually, if someone wants to uh, create a project team, we can actually use the wheels, move desks around, and have you know have people reconstruct themselves in the best way that they want to accompl uh, accomplish their work. Okay. So you guys are hiring like mad, obviously. How how many employees do you have now, and what's the growth plan? Yeah. So we're around 200 employees right now. We'll double in the next year. What that means here in Seattle is we'll be hiring around 100 people or more than 100 people. Uh, most of those are technical jobs. So if people uh, are interested in Chef and they know DevOps and the world that we live in, we'd love to hear from them. Yeah, and you in this building, you have three floors, is that right? And what, what floors and, and how much capacity, how much space do you have here? Yeah, so it's three floors. We're uh, four, three, and two. 
Uh, each floor plate's around 12,000 square feet, um, and we've got room to house a bunch of folks there. All right, very cool. Well, let's keep walking through and seeing more. All right, now we are on the rooftop deck, obviously, here in Pioneer Square. Uh, this would probably be a great place for a barbecue or a hangout in the summer. Uh, here we're in a middle of winter where it's breezy and cold and the rainstorm's coming in. What are your plans for hanging out up here? Yeah, well, first of all, we just are so thrilled to be part of what's going on in Seattle and this whole waterfront, which will redevelop. Uh, we're big fans of what's going on here. So glad that we could you know, be part of this historic building. Um, I think this is a great place, again, for employees, for our community, for our partners to come hang out. We need our sunshine in the summer, so when it's here, we get it. That's great. Wi-Fi up here. Yeah, is there Wi-Fi up here? We'll have Wi-Fi, beers flowing. Hang out on the rooftop, get some work done. Awesome, great. And then let's just look over here because people will get a sense of where the building is. If you get a look this way with the stadiums in the background, of course, Smith Tower, you're right here on the edge of Pioneer Square. Talk a little bit about Pioneer Square versus Fremont or South Lake Union or some of the other tech hubs. Why did you decide to stay rooted here in this neighborhood versus moving elsewhere? Uh, for many reasons. First of all, this is such a great central location. It's great for uh, busing, for people to come in. I, I ride the bus from Capitol Hill every morning in here. Uh, you can come from Bainbridge Island on the ferry. You can come from West Seattle on the water taxi. Uh, you can come from the east side, 90 dumps right in here. So for people that are commuting from other areas, it was just a, a great location. We also felt that, you know, as a, an up-and-coming company, that this really matched what's going on here. This is an up-and-coming area that the city is investing in the state's investing in and we're just you know thrilled to be part of it cool and there's a big startup ecosystem here too which you're a part of I mean you have a lot of neighbors and you may, might have that collaboration maybe that serendipity of running into other tech companies does that happen with you at all no doubt and you can see we host uh, DevOps meetups for example and we get people from from Nordstrom which actually has a big software group or from Disney which is here uh, or even from Microsoft or Amazon will send a lot of people over here so there really is a, a healthy ecosystem uh, around here or pay scale or friends or they're just down the street a little bit. Great. Well, thank you for showing us the uh, new offices. I'm jealous. It looks really fun. Well, John, when I say community, I'm including GeekWire in that. So you guys are free to come hang out at any time. Let's make sure we... Okay. Yeah, we'll come hit your uh, free kegs down there. Please do. Don't be careful what you ask for. All right. Thanks, guys. This has been fun. All right. Thanks, John. Really glad to have you here. Good.